Scribe Online Integration Event Maps. In this recording, I will provide an overview of Scribe Online event based processing, focusing on both request reply and message maps. Let's begin with the request reply event map. A Scribe Online request reply event map, which is created by means of an integration event solution, is an open-ended interface that is used as the vehicle to integrate data with custom applications, provided those applications can be configured to support the calling of a REST API. For example, assume your custom application manages leads, and you want any new lead to be integrated with existing accounts in your disparate CRM system. With the custom leads application configured to auto-generate a properly formatted API request containing the lead data for integration to Scribe Online defined URL endpoint, the request reply map will receive and integrate the sent payload into the target CRM system. The request reply map is also capable of delivering an API return value status reply notifying the custom application of its lead integration activity. Let's look at this again from a different perspective. As previously mentioned, Scribe Online will auto-generate a secure cloud endpoint URL that will be used by the custom application to post a request transaction in JSON JavaScript object notation format. The Scribe Online request reply map will process the request and then integrate the payload into the target system or systems. Upon completion of the integration into the target, a return value status is provided indicating to the custom application the results of the integration activity. Let's dig into the details of the Scribe Online request reply event map. On this slide and the following, there are specific Scribe Online control blocks that are needed for the creation of a request reply event map. As you can see, these and other generic control blocks can be assembled to build out your design logic to address the unique use case at hand. Let's start by taking a look at the wait for request block, which will be the initial control block of a request reply event map. The wait for request block provides two important features for the construction of a request reply map. Number one, after the saving of a map for the first time, Scribe Online auto generates a unique endpoint URL which displays on the block properties general tab. It is this URL that will be used by the custom source application which will direct the transaction to the appropriate endpoint that the Scribe Online request reply map will be listening for. Number two, from the request tab, you can describe the fields that you expect from the custom source application. This information can be thought of as a template, which at runtime will use the real time transactional data from the custom source application. The next block of a request reply event map can vary depending on the integration at hand. In this example, I am using an update insert block, which will perform either an update or insert of a record into the target application endpoint. Since there is an update component to this combination block, matching criteria will require definition so as to determine if the source contact exists or not within the target system. As shown, the field mappings are constructed from the wait for request source data made available from the custom application to the appropriate fields within the target CRM system. Satisfying the block configuration requirements along with no errors or warnings shown, the next control block of our map design can be added. This next step of the design will be the addition of the build request control block. Although this block is not required, it is used to add fields in a reply that can provide an integration status back into the source custom application. As shown, the reply of success is being mapped to the source integration status parameter. Additional control blocks 
could be used prior to the build reply. For example, an if-else block, which could be configured to send the reply back to the source application only on successful integration, or else a failure notification including the error message. Now that our build reply control block is configured, the final step in our mapping design is ready. The send reply control block is used to provide closure to the prior build reply block. This block causes the scribe online solution to exit the current map immediately and either continue to the next map or exit the solution with an error that is customizable. The default setting for the map's error handling is to exit the map and send reply. Now that we've had a general overview of the scribe online request reply event map, let's explore message maps. Similar to the scribe online request reply map, the scribe online message event map is also created by means of an integration event solution. Let's take a look at the definition and procedure for creating a message event map. Scribe Online Message Event Map has many fundamental similarities when compared to a request reply map. For example, both map types produce and send a unique data payload to a URL endpoint, which in turn is received by Scribe Online for subsequent processing and integration into the target application or database. As used within a request reply event map, there are no build reply or send reply blocks for a message map. To incorporate this like functionality within a message map, block logic such as an upsert or an update insert can be used as an effective alternative. When using Salesforce as the primary message driven source application, configuration of both outbound message and workflow rules is required within Salesforce. This configuration, which is detailed within the Salesforce online help system, will send an XML message to a URL endpoint when the defined Salesforce workflow fires and the outbound message functionality directs the message to the scribe online endpoint URL. As in a request reply map, the URL endpoint is auto-generated after the scribe online message map has been initially completed and saved. This URL can be located within the general tab of the initial wait for message block properties. To begin designing an event based message map, your first step is to use the wait for message block within the scribe online mapping workspace. This block is configured to listen for inbound messages from Salesforce instead of querying for the data. Once the map has been completed and saved, you will be able to see the endpoint URL at the bottom of the dialog, which needs to be shared with the Salesforce outbound message functionality. Please keep in mind that this URL will not become available until after the map has been completed and saved. With this block in place, the remainder of the mapping design can be created and would be based on the integration use case at hand. With the Salesforce outbound message available for Scribe Online Processing, the next block being used in this example will be the Update Insert block. This block will be configured so as to initially determine if the customer exists in the target database, MySQL, and if so, update it, else insert it. To do this, matching criteria needs to be defined, and in this case will be the source account number to the target customer number. The field mappings are also required in the update insert block. Here you can see the various data links defined for this map. Lastly in this example message map, an update block is being added to allow for the feedback of status information back into Salesforce indicating that the transaction had occurred. Once again to do this the matching criteria initially needs to be defined as well as the data linking of the appropriate field status back into Salesforce. In review, Scribe Online event-based maps are used to support real-time integration tasks triggered by external calls to the Scribe Online API web service and or by means of outbound messages. 
Either solution allows customers to easily, quickly, and seamlessly integrate their applications and custom solutions with others by using the Scribe Online integration platform as a service. Should you have any questions regarding Scribe Online, you can visit our corporate website at www.scribesoft.com or send us an email at sales at scribesoft.com. Thank you for watching this video.